I'm Rick Harsh. And this is my master class in fiction. And as you know, I started this ma Oh, you can skip this ad. You don't have to watch it, but you have to wait three days. Okay. Uh, as some of you know, this is what I started to say at the beginning. I just found I was so eager to get into this one because I'm afraid and I face my fears by um, charging head on into them and um, either making an ass out of myself or, well, maybe that is only what happened, but I face the fears. I don't believe in fear. Uh, I think there's nothing to fear except writers telling you what to do itself. And uh, I was challenged, not directly, but uh, I was challenged. I can't really see right now, um, but I can tell my face is moving. I was challenged some time ago, not directly, but I was, when I, I explained, you know, why, why I make these master class videos is because I, I really, really can't stand when writers tell people what to do and the teaching of writing, the selling of books about writing and uh, all that crap. I mean, uh, you know, a good strunk and white doesn't hurt. Um, but then again, you got to counter that with uh, maybe a Finnegan's Wake or something to, you know, um, get the, all the stop signs out of your head. Anyway, uh, I was challenged by someone who said, Margaret Atwood, too? Hmm? What, do you, what about Margaret Atwood? I mean, it's easy. Neil Gaiman. Yeah, yeah fuck Neil Gaiman. Yeah. Joyce Carol Oates. Yeah, the hell with the, uh, Joyce Carol Oates. But what are you going to say about Margaret Atwood? Didn't she win a, a, a naval prize? or um, And didn't she write A Handmaid's Tale? And is she not a doyen? Um, I don't know, because I really don't know what a doyen is, but I do know that you don't make fun of Margaret Atwood, and I'm not going to make fun of her. Um, I watched her ad, and I didn't skip it after three days. I waited the whole, whole three days, and I even took notes. She starts it by saying, um... Rec Flexor. That's a note for something else. She starts it by saying, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Red Riding Hood. I'm not going to do her voice, really, but let's start the story a different way. It was dark inside the wolf. But it was darker inside the little slut. I was really, I, I was, I was so impressed by that. I thought, man, you know, I, I like her. I mean, because she's giving an example, it, you know, and, and you're, you're giving an example. That, that, that's what a writer can do. Give an example. And, uh, you know, in a way that only Margaret Atwood could do. And that's where I should have turned it off. Um, naturally, some things came up and uh, that, that were irritating to me. You got the same thing about, you know, um, the yeah, d don't watch this part. You'll 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 wretch, um, wretch ah wretch flexor, that's his name wretch flexor. Yeah, okay, I get it now. Yeah, that's a character in a novel I'm writing. You want to hear about it? It was dark inside wretch flexor. He was a wolf, and he ate little girls, but not the evil ones, only nice ones in red. Um. She talks about um, the waste paper being your friend, and she said it was, you know, uh, invented for you by God. And then she laughs. This is the part that's hard. She laughs. She goes, <laughs> like, you know, one of those people that she's very pleased with herself, but she also is self-conscious. It's an endearing sort of thing, you know, that, that self-consciousness. But, but it's hard to watch. <laughs> <laughs> something really funny, you know. It's almost Neil Gaiman-ish, but there is a little, just a little, little bit of uh, um, self-awareness to it, you know. I, 
I don't know how they got her to do this, uh, but yeah, that I don't know. That, was there anything else? And oh yeah, yeah. Oh, at the end, I loved it. At the end, she goes, <laughs> "This is this was really great." At the end of the thing, she said, "I'm Margaret Atwood, and I'm blowing smoke up your ass." <laughs> that was good. Way to go, Marg. <laughs>